here's a story for you. You're intelligent. You put the pieces of the puzzle together. I was in a police station about three weeks ago talking uh, to... I was in a police station about three weeks ago talking to a very nice policeman. He was very helpful. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, he said, you know, in this job here, we hear a lot of stories. We hear a lot of stories. And you know what? They're just stories. He said, they're just stories. There's a lot of stories. What, um, or another name for stories is narratives. There's a lot of narratives. Mm -hmm. Where, and this plays into business and marketing, right? Because very often when you try to sell a product or market a product, if there's an interesting story connected to the product, the, the origin of Coca-Cola or how hamburgers were discovered or you know, you, you know what I mean? If there's some, the, or um, the, the, the Scottish people are very good at marketing their history. Like uh, mm -hmm. with, if we take whiskey, for example. I mean, the marketing of, of whiskey is just like at, at the next level of, you know, they, they play the beautiful Scottish traditional music and they have beautiful scenery from the, and the, the slow motion camera action and uh, did, did, you know they 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 get all the human emotions involved in the process of marketing uh, we're very good at it very good at it and narratives and stories because it's always nice to it's always nicer to have a story to tell than a marketing speech right if you stand up and go, this product, blah, 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 this product, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> it's really very boring. It's really very boring if you do that. But if you stand up and say, last year, I went to Morocco. And while I was in Morocco, I met this girl. And she took me to a temple. Let me tell you about Moroccan temples. And so the narrative it's always more interesting and it might or might not be real but it's about narratives mm -hmm. the media has a narrative the industries have a narrative the big companies have a narrative the foundation of microsoft and apple and ibm and Ford and Rolls-Royce, they all have exciting narratives connected with them, which might or might not be true. Disney is another classic example of that, of uh, how important narr narratives are. Disneyland is an experimental center for human behavior. Disneyland is where all the behavioral technologies are tested first. But it's advertised as a fun park. But it's where they, they test the digital tracking and tracing and how to influence where people go and human movement and all the elements of marketing. It's done very well, though. And you can have a good time at the same time. You can have a great time. So, um, if somebody were to criticize me for my criticism of the present health climate, I just pull up my phone and tap a button and say, here are the official statistics. There you go. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Right. Sorry. Look at the look at the overall statistics. There's no. 
if you take all of the chocolate bars, all the different kinds of chocolate bars, and you put the same label on them, they all look the same from the outside. They all look the same from the outside. It's just a label. Mm. It's just a label. So people die and we stick a label on them. But that's just on the outside. That's not the inside of things.